Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, the minister of soul. It is. Listen, y'all. What goes around comes around. Goes around, girl. Comes around, girl. Eyes on you for three long years. When no one else wanted you, I took you in and held you near. My baby slipped in a way. I Be so mean and untrue. He didn't want you until he seen what my love did for you. Did for you. Ooh, baby, what goes around comes around. Listen. I don't mean to laugh at nobody's circumstance, but, but again, I just want to, first of all, take a minute, because we all in this way went around. And it's sad when relationships end. Lord have mercy. I know because I'm going through still some craziness right now, residue. So it's really sad when you committed that much time to a person over 20 years. And you have to call a quiz. And any of y'all ain't never put in that much time in something, then you don't know where I'm coming from. So you probably got to, you know, just sit down and take notes. Okay? But any of y'all who know what it's like to be grinding with a person that long, you know, it comes to an end. I mean, it, it is devastating. I mean, it's, it, it, your heart is broken. So past and beyond that becomes the anger and all those emotions and feelings that go along with that, especially when you know somebody is trying to take advantage of you and leave you with nothing or just take you to the cleaners and walk away with your stuff that they had no... Lord, they had no... Let me slow down. Um, how do you say they had no help in, they, in, in building this? It was already set and established when they walked into it. And then all of a sudden, they started trying to claim more. People like that, I, I really have a problem with. Okay? Now, with that being said, it is what it is. Okay? When you. Where y'all can um, talk about Dr. Dre's wife, who is now going through the divorce of Dr. Dre. My take on it is the thing that you can't fool in this life is you. And the laws of karma are extremely extremely important when you think that you really, really are balling and doing something and actually have made some changes uh, financially in your life. And your super ego begins to be driven with what you think makes you better than somebody. Or if it's not that, it gives you ability to abuse people, especially women. Um, when you have done this on a continuous basis, and I don't care what anybody says, in, when you look at somebody's track record, and as a teenager, when you see what their responsibility level was in terms of bringing all these children in the world, and by different women, no discipline in terms of where you put your seeds down at, and beating those women up, and 
what Michelle said with that movie, I believe her because I, 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 I've witnessed that type of stuff. OK. And during the time you grew up, you thought that was cool. You thought it was good. You thought it was all that made you a man to bang um, as many women, as many girls, really, as possible and have different baby mamas. But I bet you any money, the 47-year-old uh, Andre Young wouldn't dare do what the 15, 16, 17, 18, 19-year-old Andre Dr. Dre did. Okay? And the consequences of that lifestyle is you got all these children and all these women that you disrespected, that you um, pretty much took advantage of, and they took advantage of you, of course, because when you're poor, you want to get with somebody that got some money. I can't blame nobody for that. But for you, because of it, I blame you. Because if you don't want them, they shouldn't even be around you. Right? Then you meet somebody who is Fidel three wife. Right? And just how this go? She moved all them <clears throat> women away from around you and parked herself right up in your living room. And because you ain't never had no high yellow color struck man, high yellow woman up in your house, you already know what happened. You, just like Michelle said, you or she already knew this person that was coming into your life now didn't play. She was about money. Well, yes, because she was going with a basketball player. And I'm not condoning anything she did. First of all, I'm not and I'm not co-signing. I'm not saying that's a wonderful thing. I'm not saying that this is uh, great that women do that. Um, like the Eliza Reigns, whoever they are, or the women that uh, use their femininity and their sexual wiles to get a baby so they can get a big check. No, I don't think that um, that that that. I agree with any of that. But at the end of the day, a woman is wired, a woman is wired to want security no matter what. Okay? So if you think that you watering your grass in her and whatever happens and if something happens, she's going to figure out how to get secure with her nesting of this child cuz that's how she wired. Whether she go down there and put your butt on child support which a lot of y'all have a problem with. I never understood that concept. Although I, you know, I've never had to have to do that. I just don't understand why women, men get upset when women put your ass on child support. How you think uh, she going to pay for the damn baby? You think she's supposed to wait for you to bring some money to her every three months and they both be in skeletons when um, you come with the groceries from starvation? So, the black community is full of so many wounds in the mentality. Because poor white people, I ain't never heard them uh, trip on, yeah, she put me on child support. They expect it. So, um, when black men start talking that crazy stuff, that's where I get off the boat at. That's my opinion, and I'll keep it. Although I never had to put anybody on child support. That is an irresponsible situation. Because nobody should have told you that if that's your child, that you should take care of it. And the way she's wired is she going to find some security. So the first thing I will come to my mind is you don't know how a woman operates. But you out here having sex with her. You don't even know how she's wired. But you out here doing the do. So. This woman is secure. What she's doing now is what women do. Want to make sure she got she's secure. However, hers is based in total greed, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. I don't know either one of these people. I just find it sad that when um like the, the Drake said, you wasn't on the court with me. You wasn't practicing. 
at the end of the day, this woman know good and well if what they're saying allegedly is happening, that you're stealing money out of accounts, allegedly, that you're doing all kinds of craziness. She want to make sure she just as secure as him on his shit. I ain't saying that it's right. Because karma is wicked. But I understand. I understand. And we got to do better. We got to treat each other better. It's just that simple. So when it comes time to go our separate ways, look, it ain't got to be all that. In fact, you know, some of the people that I had a relationship with are some of my best friends. That's the way I like it. That's the way it should be. You know? I mean, I don't want them no more, and they damn sure don't want me no more. <laughs> so it is what it is. And um, with that being said, know the anatomy anatomy of a woman or a man before you even enter that ballpark. Because what's happening with Dr. Dre, in my opinion, is a lot of karma, a lot of abuse, not just perpetrated. Because everywhere you go, somebody said you didn't kick them and clocked they hit them. Now, even from... Uh, the damn disc jockey, downtown Julie Brown that you done put hands on, all the way up into your wife. Everybody ain't lying. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And some of y'all think it's okay to put hands on your woman because you've seen that. Not get it. I ain't fall from heaven. I'm from hell like the rest of you. I done put my hands on people. I ain't got hands put on me. So I know what it's like. I done been in abusive relationships. Yep. Okay. No, it's no excuse. No excuse. So, with that being said, karma is an MF. Okay? And when she come to collect, she will leave you spinning. Because you don't know where she coming from. Like a spinning top. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Maybe one day I'll show y'all how to spin a spinning top. Some of y'all that's older, y'all know. The little spinning top with the little thing. And you roll the string around. My brother used to be real good. Woo. Shout out to you, Ali. He used to put a thing on there. Woo. Come back on that spinning top and that spinning top be gone. Woo. Just like you put a basketball on your finger. Okay, just like that. That's what the laws of karma will feel like and what will do to you if you don't start ordering your steps and having some discipline in your life. No matter how young you are, somebody should be teaching you. You don't might not want to do that one. Okay. When you start having sex, what comes from that is that you ain't protecting yourself. It's a baby. And you don't want to stop. You don't want to quit. Then you don't want to pull out none of that. Those babies that you raised, you ain't going to get out of it. You're not a big man because you done got. 10 babies by 20 10 different women. One day, they all going to come back to collect from your ass, either financially, emotionally, spiritually, or physically. But they're going to come back to get a piece of it. It's called karma. With that being said, good luck to both of you. Good luck. And I'll see y'all in the next video.